Please don't feel me Hey guys, Charlie here from StowGearView.com, coming to you again from a uh, crappy motel in the middle of nowhere, uh, doing some business travel. Anyway, uh, got a cigar review for you today. This is the Inception BCD. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the BCD stands for. Um, so Inception is a, a new cigar company. Don't know too much about them, haven't heard too much about them. Uh, it's from JSR Cigar Distributors. I believe they're out of Houston, Texas. Uh, they sent me some samples of this uh, cigar they call Inception, not to be confused with another new cigar company. Um, um, Ezra Zion, I believe, had a cigar called Inception. I think they're changing the name uh, so that as not to uh, be confused with this Inception. Uh, so this Inception, uh, this is the, the BCD is the Vitola, which is a torpedo. It is, I believe, 6.25 by 54. Yep, that's correct. Uh, with this, we have a uh, 98 Criollo wrapper from Nicaragua, a 98 Criollo binder from Costa Rica, which is pretty interesting, and Abano fillers from Mexico, Honduras, and Nicaragua. So all kinds of stuff uh, going on in here. Uh, looking, excuse me, looking at the wrapper, uh, it's kind of a, there's some veins, it's, it's a bit mottled, it's sort of a, a powdery cocoa type of uh, look to it. Smelling it um, off the wrapper, I'm getting a mix of like old leather and some, some barnyard, which is actually quite nice. Off of the foot, there's some, um, some mustiness, some earthiness. A little bit of dark fruit and there's something else that I can't quite um, put my uh, finger on. I'm not sure I, I care for it, but not sure what to call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. You know, I always have a, I always have problems cutting torpedoes. I never know how much to take or, or whatnot. A little bit of loose tobacco from the from the wrapper. Ooh, hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. Anyway. Ha! Okay, uh, I think I got a nice cut here. Um, nice and open. So this is the third one of these that I've smoked and all of them have had a bit of a, um, a plasticky kind of uh, taste on the, the cold trough, uh, which has been you know, disturbing at the beginning, but uh, it usually hasn't really caused a problem. So yeah, to me it's kind of a, a plasticky kind of cold draw, but you know, we'll see how things go. Go ahead and uh, get this lit. I was at a, a meeting tonight that required some travel, and I'm going to be staying over and, and working all day up here. I'm actually in Baltimore. You know, usually I'm I live and work uh, outside D.C. So got a nice room here at the Motel Six, where you've seen me record a video before. I like it because it's nice and cheap. Because I'm paying for this room myself and they have smoking rooms, so I don't feel bad about lighting up. Any opportunity I get to smoke indoors, I'm gonna take. I'm not allowed to smoke indoors at home. <laughs> so unless I'm at uh, Draper's or some other lounge, I'm smoking outside, so I'm at the whims of Mother Nature. And like, uh, like I've told you before, fortunately the Wi-Fi at my work reaches outside to the parking lot. So I got a nice little a nice even burn here. So I think I got a good light. 
right off the bat, there's a lot of uh, a lot of woodiness, a lot of nuttiness, um, maybe some baking spice uh, mixed in there. Uh, this one I tried dry boxing a little bit. I really hadn't didn't have any problems before burns on the you know with the with the burn on the other ones, but uh, you know dry boxing sometimes can can affect things a little bit. So I figured I'd try it with this one. Good amount of smoke. There's um, maybe a little bit of white pepper in there. Um, so so far, off to a good start. First couple of puffs. I'll uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and let you know how things are going at the end of the first third. All right, I'm back at the end of the first third here of my Inception BCD. Actually, going to go ahead and tap off the ash after I let you see it. Sort of a uh, medium gray, kind of you know that sort of biscuit, you know, biscuity. What's that? Uh, oh, that Pillsbury kind of biscuits with all the layers. That's kind of what I. <laughs> if you understand what I'm talking about, you know what I mean, right? So uh, um, construction-wise, absolutely great. Uh, the burn's going pretty even. The, the, the burn line's a little bit thick, but no real problems there. Uh, the ash, about an inch and a half before I tapped it off. I didn't want to wear it, so um, the draw is absolutely fantastic. No complaints on that whatsoever. Flavor-wise, it's just sort of a, um, a lot of wood, some, some wood twanginess, uh, baking spice, and maybe a little bit of pepper uh, on the finish. Um, nice and relaxing, not too demanding on the palate at all. So uh, sort of enjoying having a, <laughs> a relaxing night. You know, it's been hectic at work and everything lately. And, uh, you know, the baby is a, a handful, but my loving wife takes care of most of that. So um, I actually had to pull an all-nighter the other night for work. Um, but, you know, the things I do. Anyway, so I'll uh, obviously continue to smoke this. I'll come back at the end of the second third and check in then. All right, back at the end of the second third here with my Inception BCD from JSR Cigar Distributors. Uh, things are still going great. Um, draw is really, really fantastic. Uh, the burn is still going quite well. I uh, got my second inch and a half ash here that I'll probably tap off in a second. I'll do it right now, actually. There we go. Um, Flavor-wise, uh, nothing too complex like before. Um, not very demanding on the palate, just sort of a, right now it's sort of a straight uh, wood um, flavor profile. Uh, a little while ago I got a real blast of cinnamon that was kind of unexpected and, and enjoyable. Uh, but other than that, you know, nothing too, um, nothing too dramatic. Just sort of a nice relaxing smoke, which uh, like I said before, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the relaxation. So. Uh, Yeah, usually I'm quite uh, talkative, but uh, I don't know if I'm just too tired or what. Don't have uh, too much to, you know, go on and on about. So anyway, when you can't improve over silence, you know, what do you what do you do? So I'll continue smoking the Inception BCD, and uh, I'll come back at the end and wrap things up with my final thoughts. Stay tuned. All right, wrapping things up here with my Inception BCD. And, uh, you know, like I've been saying all along, the construction's been great. I've been really impressed by the, the draw, the smoke. Just terrific. Great burn, no problems at all. Um, Flavor-wise, still just, you know, primarily that, that wood um, profile. I got a little bit of maybe coffee and cream towards the end, sort of a, a, a background. Uh, there mostly mostly wood so um, what can I say you know just uh, a, a good relaxing smoke so uh, thanks to the guys from JSR cigars uh, distributors for the samples um, if you saw my last post you know that I've got some of these um, screw pop cigar punches to give away so I gave away one in my last post I got another one here to give away 
So be sure to read the instructions on how to enter uh, this contest and uh, you know, I'll send another one of these out to a lucky winner. Obviously I couldn't use the punch on the torpedo, but uh, I'm sure you'll find uh, something to use it for. Crack open a beer, what have you. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.